One fun trick you might consider teaching your dog is spin. Spin seems to be a staple of dog tricks, uh, and it's a great easy one to practice your luring and your clicking and rewarding with. In this one, you're going to load up your hand with treats, but you're going to use one treat in front as your lure to get the dog to move through space. You're going to lure them first into a standing position and then around in a circle, clicking when they finish, and then giving them the treat. You want to be sure to get them on their feet first so that you don't just try to lure them into a backflip from a sitting position. So again, I'm going to get her on her feet and I'm going to walk her around and click and nibble at the end. Be aware when you teach spin that dogs are directional. So if you're going to spin in one direction with them, that's the direction they're going to remember. If you practice spin in both directions, those are two separate tricks and they can confuse your dog. So at this point, pick one spinning direction and focus on that. So use your treat with the lure right in the front, get them on all fours walking, and then walking in a circle, click and you'll nibble at the end. So again, remember, get them walking, the treat facing them is helpful and keep it low. If I put this treat up too high, she might try to jump up at it. So I'm going to keep it low, around in a circle, click and nibble at the end. If you want to get really fancy when this luring's looking great, watch what you might do. You might lure it around once and a second time, then click and treat. If you get to that stage where you can do two lured spins in a row, it's getting pretty solid and you're ready to move to your next step in training. We talked about this earlier where you'll use a hand signal. That means that I'm going to take these treats I was using, I'm going to put them all in the other hand again. This hand is now empty. Watch what I'm going to do with this hand. Exactly the same thing that I did when it had the treat, but now it doesn't. Click and nibble from the other hand this time. Watch one more time. My empty hand now becoming a signal and rewarding her from the other hand. That's step two in training, turning your lure into a hand signal by putting the treat in the other hand. Once that's going really well, you're going to refine the signal. What I'm going to do now is maybe turn my hand into kind of a point for my spin, and I might not have to come as close to her head, and I'll still be getting her to do it. Fantastic. That worked really well. She's following my empty hand. She's still getting the reward at the end. That's super important. Don't expect her to do it yet without a reward. After you've used your empty hand signal and you've refined it a little, like that, you might be ready to add a verbal cue. Remember, the verbal happens before your hand signal. When you're doing tricks, you might come up with a cute name for it. You might call it something other than spin. You could think of something like whirly gig or jelly roll or something. Sometimes with tricks, the cuteness is in the name. For now, we're just going to call it spin so we don't confuse Clara. So I've got my hand and I'm going to say spin and I'm going to give her the signal and I'm still going to click and reward at the end. So to review, I'm going to say the word spin, signal, click and reward. Spin. Good girl. Excellent. Once you do that for a while, you might be ready to do the verbal only approach. We talked about that earlier as well. That's really PhD level, but let's see if we can show you with Clara right now. I wouldn't have to use a hand signal at all, and I could just say spin. Spin. Good. And I could click and reward at the end, just like that. So if all goes well, eventually you'll be able to just say spin and your dog is going to spin and you can click and reward at the end. Spin. So that looked really great and Clara seems to have it on a verbal signal. But to be fair, she had it on a verbal signal before I sat down to show you this. This is a demonstration. A lot like on TV when you see a cooking show where they put a casserole in the oven and it magically comes out done while you're still watching it on TV. This is something that she's already been working on. Take time with your dog and you'll get to this point, but it's not a magical thing that'll happen overnight. But if you do use the clicker, it's going to go a lot faster for you. So sit down, get your clicker, and have some fun teaching your dog to spin.